So, you know what's funny, by the ways, way? There are other with ways all this to do misinformation, these studies, there you are, and I are doing exactly what everyone is, jo- uh, is yeah, accusing no, no, Joe no, no, Rogan no, of. Not, not, not at all, We are right? currently spreading misinformation just by having this discussion. You shouldn't have me on your show. I'm spreading the misinformation right now. Okay, so the issue is that the things that Dr. Robert Malone is saying, I don't know why you're denying it. Maybe it's a joke for you, but I know that you've heard and maybe even said- No, the joke specifically the is that, that we're people are trying to say that the coronavirus and we're is doing being it marked right incorrectly on death certificates in order for hospitals to make more money. That's what the implication is. And now you're trying to obfuscate by saying, oh, well, a lot of these people had comorbidity. Yeah, that's how diseases work. Of course, people with comorbidities are more likely to die. When being obese is a comorbidity for a disease, and like 40% of Americans are obese, and the older you are, Dude, the more you likely are you are to be obese. You are talking so fast. Then obviously, you sound like Ben Shapiro on Adderall. I have to like, obviously, there's I have going to, to be more just people to make out dying. the words. Okay, Can I'll I get close captions I'll, I'll try, for I'll try this? To, I'll try to speak. Well, you don't even have slow me on your TV, down. so I'll Jesus slow it down a little Christ. bit, okay? Take people less that are, Adderall and more people bourbon. That are people, Fuck. Okay, in terms of who's done more drugs on camera, I'm pretty sure it's you than me, okay? People Correct. who are old in the United States are more likely to be fat, have diabetes, et cetera, et cetera, et cetera. All of these things are absolutely You have diabetes? Terrible. In the United States, believe it or not. Probably no, you have, have diabetes, that. did you say? I said people in the United States who are older okay. and obese. Sorry, I get, it's like these things whizzing by my head and I have to sort of grab a word if I can see it. Gotcha. Whip by me like Blade Runner. So- if people are, there are other ways that we can look at like the number of deaths as well. Do you do you think that the flu is a special virus that targets healthy people and COVID-19 is a disease that only affects people with high comorbidities? No, I think okay. that the flu- so, Do you think that the uh, flu can kill every, you? Excuse me, you asked me a question. You asked me a question, Destiny. It's fundamentally different than when the coronavirus you kills me, you? You asked me a question, auctioneer. Uh-huh. <laughs> He's got the name of a black stripper from New Orleans, but he talks like an auctioneer. You asked me if the Spanish flu affects only healthy people. It affects everyone. But back Mm -hmm. then, we weren't fat fucking pigs. Now we're fat fucking pigs. So we die. It sucks. It's terrible. Fats and olds are dying at unprecedented rates. Are you Googling this as we talk? I don't have a computer. Yeah, sure. I'm just asking you. Did you Google that? No, I, I have every fact memorized at the top of my head, actually. I talk about this. Okay, so, so now you sarcastically just... avoid the fact that you're sitting there. Are you accusing me of sarcasm? I would never Google in a debate, sir. That is one of the most dishonorable things I could ever think of. One, the oh, internet we debate bros take that very not so much it's dishonorable like, as boring. It's horrible. Yeah. Like we're in a bar. Uh-huh. The debate should be in a bar. You're not allowed to pull out your phone. Okay, so we're in we're debating in a bar when you say, did you know that 2.4 million excess deaths were reported and 14% is the increase year over year with the inc- that's yeah. a bar stat to you? You would pull that yeah, out of a bar when you're talking to somebody. Okay. Well, this yeah, is my is. bar stat. I happen to Where's have, my computer, um, fuckhead? Don't, don't you have a fucking cell phone? <laughs> yeah, but I'm not looking I'm fucking, at it. Well, that's not my problem. What? We're we're talking about who's looking up shit as they talk. I didn't say I'm looking up shit, but you're complaining to me that you don't have access to your cell phone. I don't know if your mom took it from you or if you're in trouble or grounded or what. If you have it on, you pull it out. Are you looking up shit as you talk? I would never do that, sir. I can't tell if you're being sarcastic or not. I'm never sarcastic. I have, I have, I'm high school that functioning like autism. Too. I, can't, I can't be sarcastic. I, it's not in my nature to be sarcastic. That sounds, I, that also sounds James, sarcastic. James, tell him, James, I can't be sarcastic. It's you're like, you're saying, it's like, death. you're saying like, you're, you're saying like, like bro, you're saying that just because people. we told the everybody to stay like, home, I'm a real drunk death, driving Destiny. accidents I'm decrease. I'm a real death. And you're like, yeah, I got to win this bitch. Sorry. Fuck you. Welcome back to Guessing the Numbers. With Destiny and Gavin, we will be guessing the population of Papua New Guinea after the break. Please stay tuned. And also, we're going to guess what 377 times 17 is. It's probably a lot. Stay tuned. Stay tuned. This debate was supposed to be about Joe Rogan. Mm -hmm. And should is he more bad than good? And my contention is... If I may sort of try to steer this beast, and and if I'm wrong, then steer it back. Uh-huh. But I'd like to steer this beast to Joe Rogan should have the right to speak. And within the same sort of paradigm, Westerners don't like the mandates. They're pissed off. Okay. The man, Destiny, like meme or can I just call you Steve? Destiny is the game I've well, ever I come across. I typically go by Steven, but I know how much you Why did you, you Where did you come up with Destiny? Did you go to strip clubs in, in the South too much? Yeah. 
Absolutely. That you're getting a lot of mileage out of the Louisiana joke. Um, Are you our destiny? What does destiny mean? It's your destiny to be incredibly frustrated by debating me when you can't see me on the screen. That your destiny is to do devotion or like you know, originally I was gonna be the uh, Count Dracula guy from the Sesame Street because I love numbers and multiplication. That's funny at least. So yeah. Be Count Chocula. That's hilarious. But I I started gaming. Okay. It's a stripper who's been abused her whole life. Gotcha. Anyway, so Steve, do you think that um are you on Adderall right now? Only for my most challenging debates. So I hyped <laughs> up for this one. Okay. Okay. Good. Mm-hmm. I'm glad you chilled out. Uh okay. I don't see how those connect. Really? Do you think the rebellion in Canada is caused by Joe Rogan or Joe Rogan telling no, people not to? I'm or saying, what is the connection? We're talking about the dangers of misinformation. Yeah. And in the context of this debate, the uh-huh. dangers of misinformation are people not taking the vaccine seriously. Correct? Okay. That's one of them. Yeah. Okay. That's one of them. Yeah. <laughs> Dude, don't do that or I'm going to fucking... <laughs> I'm so Strangle sorry. you. My bad. Okay. You this don't even know what I look like. Thing. I could be shr- I could be huge. I could be like a six eight black guy. No, I don't. I'm okay, not into violence. Massive muscle. Okay. Well, because you threaten. I fight me. I people might be every day that are okay. bigger and smaller than me. Gotcha. I'm not. I'm not talking about beating equal you up, opportunity but, assault. I but appreciate people that. laughing at people they're talking to. Okay, is not acceptable here. My bad. So we draw the line. It's after the destiny stripper jokes, but before I laugh at you while you're talking to me. That's the correct. Yeah. Oh, okay. Gotcha. Naming yourself destiny. Uh huh. That's like naming yourself it or naming yourself fucking someone who already has a name like Johnny Knoxville. I'm Stevie Knoxville. It's, it's clearly embarrassing. It's begging for, for ridicule, but laughing at okay, someone gotcha. when, they're, when they're making a valid point <laughs> assumes that their valid point is bullshit. Okay. So Am you I, can't be I'm, sarcastic, which you said you were incapable of. Okay. You I can't be sarcastic and patronize being, someone when I when laugh have at you. That's point. not sarcasm. So what we're discussing here, here my side. Shit yeah. head, okay, is yeah. Joe Rogan's information. Let's assume that he's having these people on his show that uh-huh. say the vaccine is bullshit. Don't get it. Right. Right. That's our worst case scenario here. You think it's about six feet apart? No, I think it's about like replacing the government in Canada because you guys are never getting rid of the vaccine mandates because they're enforced on the U.S. border side. I think that it's just everybody's just mad and Wait, they want to protest some shit. Hold on. I, I don't yeah. mean this in a in a negative way. I'm not trying to criticize you. Oh, I thank God. I, have no I thought you were about to say clue. something. <laughs> yeah. I have no fucking clue what you mean um, by what you just said. What's that? Say that again. Uh, oh, do we have that a was a funny comedy drop. Oh, gotcha. Okay. Don't do those, um, Ryan. They're, they derail the conversation. Yeah. Jesus Christ, Ryan. Um I feel like you just John Stewarted my fucking crossfire show. Now my brain. Yeah. Why are you wearing a me, bow tie? Everything you do me, is a lie. Let me. You're trying to have a political discussion, and you're out here doing political theater. Oh, okay, Tucker me, lost me, his career. Let me bring it back. Okay, so it, we're talking about the bad sides of Joe Rogan's disinformation. <laughs> you brought and up the, the bad trucker, side. Right? Is, you're the one that wanted. I don't. I, we were trying to. I was still trying to build out the connection on your map to figure out how the fuck the truckers listen to Joe Rogan and decided to protest. I was still waiting for that. I didn't get that connection. I played too many video games and I think the Adderall fucks with my short-term memory. Not that I took I any and it's, and I'm having trouble connecting it, but let's move on from this topic. I, how, Ryan, how long is this debate going to be? Cause I want to have a long talk with you, destiny about we, your life. You just said you don't do sarcasm. You're clearly terrible at jokes. Uh, Why do you think I'm being sarcastic? I, why are you practicing? Are you are you trying to figure out sarcasm? You sound like one of those movies where the alien uh-huh. is trying to do humor, and they're like, "Hello, why did the chicken cross the road?" I am trying sarcasm uh-huh. for the first time in my life. Seems like it's making you pretty upset. So I feel like I'm landing close. Yeah, I'm really I'm furious. The only thing that makes me upset mm-hmm. is when you snicker and giggle. Those are deal breakers. But uh, I don't mind if you try sarcasm. Go nuts. Okay. What if I sarcastically laugh in the middle of another one of your monologues? I'll fucking lose it and find you. Okay. Are you vaccinated? Maybe you won't be able to get into the United States if you're if you're driving in your truck to get here. <laughs> okay. Not bad. Anyway, Not bad. Um, Bezos anti bullying agency says argument doesn't matter. Gavin wins by default virtue of the fact. Okay, let's see. Aeon, thank you very much. ML, <laughs> Wait, I'm not, you didn't, not reading you, the rest of that one. Oh, ML, the open so, relationship question was okay, but that one was over the line. Now I'm even more interested. In ML what the, says, 
Let's see. Yeah, good point, Destiny. Jesus. Every time I say your name, I picture a hot chick with blonde, a hot black chick with blonde hair. Well, thankfully, you're not looking at me on the monitor right now. So it's 2022. I could be a hot chick with blonde hair. Surgery's come a long way. Too much video games and fucking Adderall. That is the bane of your generation's existence. This one. Coming I am from getting away from the video games. Video games, games, games and Adderall. Stop That's all taking keeping Adderall. Me going at this point. It's a drug. It's speed. <sighs> aren't you? You're drinking drugs right now, aren't you? We used to call you guys you? tweakers in the 80s. It says, how much criticism of lockdowns <clears throat> should be allowed, Destiny? Are we talking like chastity belt lockdowns or what kind of lockdowns are... This one now coming. he's the sarcasm king. I'm not even being sarcastic. I want you to clarify. Oh, you we, we, just had a, we just had a 20 That's minute conversation too. about my wife committing ethnic suicide or whatever. I don't know what the fuck the topic even is anymore. Is this about the wow. chat? Are we talking about chastity belts You're for the so Ottawa mad one that I predicted drivers? the next five years of your life? You are literally Larry the Tomato Red right now on my screen, okay? There's no way that I'm the mad one here, all right? This Slow down. Mr. James, oh, that's repeat? called being white. You clearly James, went Mr. to Sweden Mr. for a wife because okay, you love white people. This, one. this is what we, we look like, and we we're mad. There's so many questions. And they said, Dr. Malone is a co-inventor of the mRNA vaccines, is pro-vax, and has been published over 100 times. Destiny, have you really listened to the full episode? Malone is not the co-inventor of the mRNA vaccine, and his only contribution to mRNA research was a paper that he did as like a grad student. He owns a few. No, that's a long false. Time ago. That is absolutely. He was one true. of the many contributors to the mRNA no, vaccine. No, no, he did not no, write one no. fucking paper. He had by the way, zero how many input papers have you written? Why had, are we constantly had, dealing with these people who have oh never contributed anything outside of playing some? Fucking video games. Okay, a guy plays video you're, games. This is on you're Twitch, out of line. You're way out of line. You're way out of line. You're way out of line, Gavin. Gavin, he's contributed. Do something. Trivialize our accomplishments. All right, we the have to less you Steven. accomplish, well, I got the more I you trivialize we other people's accomplishments. Wrote, hold on, do Excuse something. Me. You're literally you on your ass for a living. Get up. We do have to go ahead, Stephen. Fuck it. Are you in sweatpants right now? Absolutely not, sir. This one coming you, in from... The only thing that's going to work for you, and I'm the least traditional guy in the world. Dude, I have a back tattoo uh -huh. of Chunk uh -huh. Shek and Fidel Castro being eaten by an octopus with a skull face. Jesus. So I, I invented outside the box, okay? Okay. The idea of we don't need marriage, blah, blah, blah. It's a uh -huh. super fun thing in your early 20s. But you went and got a starling from Europe, and she's going to devour you and everyone around you unless you can keep that cute little starling in control because it is a fucking phoenix on fire. Mm -hmm. That thing is a... It's a fucking flailing, fiery bird that has a wingspan as big as a city block. You need to control her or you're all going to die. Look at that beautiful, beautiful bird. It's one of the most nerve-wracking debates I've ever been in in my entire, that, yeah, out of the, uh, I think we just hit about 700. If you include the debates that we have deleted, we have hit about 700 debates and that was undoubtedly the most challenging one for me to remain calm during.